You're not listening what you're missing and why it matters. Kate Murphy. Introduction. When was the last time you listened to someone? Really listened without thinking about what you wanted to say next. Glancing that at your phone or jumping in to offer your opinion. And when was the last time someone really listened to you? Was so attentive to what you were saying and whose response was so spot on that you felt truly understood? In modern life, we are encouraged to listen to our hearts, listen to our inner voices, and listen to our guts, but rarely are we encouraged to listen carefully and with intent to other people. Instead, we are engaged in a dialogue of the deaf, often talking all one another at cocktail parties, work meetings, and even family dinners, groom as we are to lead the conversation rather than follow it, online and in person. It's all about defining yourself, shaping the narrative, and saying on message. Value in place on what your project, not what you absorb. And yet, listening is arguably more valuable than speaking. Wars have been fought, fortunes lost, and friendships wrecked for lack of listening. Calvin College famously said, No man ever listened himself out of a job. No man. <laughs> No man ever listen himself out of a job. It is only by listening that we engage, understand, connect, emphasize, and develop as human beings. It is fundamental to any successful relationship, personal, professional, and political. Indeed, the ancient Greek philosopher Epictetus said, Nature hath given men one tongue, but two ears, that we may hear from others twice as much as we speak. So, it's striking that high schools and colleges have debate teams and courses in rhetoric, in rhetoric, and persuasion but seldom. <laughs> okay, let me read it again. So it's striking that high schools and colleges have debate teams and courses in rhetoric and persuasion, but seldom, if ever, classes or activities that teach carefully listening. You can get a doctorate in speech communication and join clubs like Toastmaster to protect your public speaking. But there's no comparable degree or training that emphasizes and encourages the practice to listening. That very image of success and power today is someone mic up and prowling around a stage or orating from behind a podium, giving a TED talk or comments mean speech is laughing the dream. Social media has given everyone a virtual megaphone to broadcast every thought along with the means to filter out any contrary view. People phone calls, intercept and ignore voicemail, preferring text or wordless emoji. If people are listening to anything, it's likely through headphones or earbuds. Where they are safe inside their own curated sound bubbles, the soundtracks to the movie that are their walk of lives. The result is a creeping sense of isolation and emptiness which leads people to swipe, tap, and click on more. Digital distraction keeps the mind occupied but does little to nature it, much less cultivate depth of feeling which requires the resonance of another's voice within our very bones and psychics. To really listen is to be more physically, chemically, chemically, emotionally, and intellectually 
by another person narrative. This is a book is praise of listening and alarming that as a culture we seem to be losing our listening mojo. As journalists, I've conducted countless interviews with everyone from Nobel laureates, 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 to homeless toddler. I view myself as a professional listener, and yet I too can fall short, which is why this book is also a guide to improving listening skill. To write this book, I have spent the better part of two years delving into the academic research related to listening, the biomechanical and neurobiological processes as well as the psychological and emotional effects that is a blinking external hard drive on my desk loaded with hundreds of hours. Loaded with hundreds of hours of interviews with people from Boys to Beijing, who either study from aspect of listening or whose job, like mine, is listening intensive, including speech, spice, priests, psycho psychotherapists, but Hindus, hostage negotiators, hairdressers, air traffic controllers, radio producers, and focus group moderators. I also went back to some of the most accomplished and astute individuals I profiled or interview over the years entertainers, CEOs, politicians, scientists, economists, fashion designers, professional athletes, entrepreneurs, chips, artists, authors, and religious leaders to ask what listening means too. That's all. Somebody share this one, and there are several <laughs> vocabularies. I have no idea how to pronounce and definition of them as well. But enjoy reading. Bye.